welcome back. It's weekend. Finally, I got some time to play what right now might be my favorite game so far. Uh, yeah, we left at chapter five. Let's see where we were are now. Oh. One second here. Quick stream fix. And hey. Oh, uh, Mr. Recap, where are we? Mr. Sultan's van. Mr. Sultan convinced me to help him get his stolen van back. All right. Can we make this jump? Yes, we can, indeed. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, I'm so dumb. My bad, my bad, my bad, guys. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did I do this again? Right, we're going the other side. The man didn't look like a thief, but maybe his striped jumper was in the wash. Mr. Silton was certain he'd stolen the van though, so I watched for a moment. But then I heard Mr. Silton climbing up. I was going to speak, <laughs> but Mr. Silton held a finger up to his lips. He looked incredibly serious for a moment. One swift movement, and we were inside. Mr. Silton whispered that I was to go one way while he went another. Why are you whispering? I asked him. Where are we going? Find the keys to my van, Robocop, said Mr. Silton through gritted teeth. Piles of junk were all wired into the mains. I suppose it was a good deterrent against thieves. Uh, how are we gonna get to that one? Oh, oh come on. Oh, it's like, oh, okay. Okay. 
Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 would have felt at home here with all the huge piles of junk everywhere That's a nice one. Ready? One, two. Woo! Oh. I didn't know which key I should take, so I took all of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
managed oh. to collect all of the keys. As soon as I heard the gunshot, the gunshot, I knew I needed to go back and find Mr. Silton. It's not good. Gunshots are not good. This is... This is... This hurts.
almost made it. Gotta grab a million things. And then I become a man. Oh, oof. that was in my face. was pointing an even older gun right at Mr. Silton's face. But the man looked terrified when he saw me. I can still picture his hands shaking as he reloaded his ancient yeah. firearm. This wasn't the plan, shouted Mr. Silton. It's him or me. Let him have it. I didn't know what I was going to do when I, I caught the old man. Don't know. I 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 don't I Someone dead hurt my friends. They would have to pay. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Come on. Almost got, got you. Oof. Oof. What? Just cut off his arm. Damn. just happened the fuck
I kept turning the events over in my mind. Could I have handled things differently? Wow. Could I save Mr. Silton without hurting that man? Mr. Preston could see I was upset, and said music was a good alternative to facing up to problems. Come with me, he insisted, I'm going to teach you how to play drums. <laughs> of course you are. First, he said, just play the bass drum along with me, we'll see how good your timing is. Oh. So was that good or bad? I think I'm, I'm fine. BB and down and give each drum a few hits to get a feel for the rhythm. Snare, tom, bass, hi hat. Guitar Hero. Alright, let's play some drums. Is that good? I don't know. Let's see. One, two. Come on, count me in. Oh, wow. Except it's C plus. Oh, uh, show uh, slightly competitive. So now that I know how that goes, let's do it again and maybe have sexy all over. Okay, fine. That's it. 
This is good. This is a lot of fun. No. But thank you. That was, that was fun. That took my that definitely took my mind off the murder that I just committed. Mr. Silton was patched up, but still pretty angry. He referred to the man as a word that wasn't in my dictionary file. It should have been between cami and cup. I reminded Mr. Silton about going to find the others now we had the van. But he said there was something even more important we had to do first. Mr. Silton explained that it was a good idea that Mr. Logan be released from prison early, and that this wouldn't involve a parole board, but might involve dynamite. Straight away I was apprehensive. I thought only bad people went to prison, I knew Mr. Logan was the guitarist in Mr. Silton's band, but why would we help a bad person? In the end, I think it's only Mrs. Silton's smile that convinced me to help. Mrs. Silton promised to have a present for us when we got back. She said she'd been saving her money from her decorating job. I didn't know what I would need money for, but then realized, if nothing else, new games consoles must be out. Be careful, said Mrs. Silton with a big smile. Don't rob any post offices, and don't get shot. <laughs> well, we got the van. In the dead of night, uh... it was surprisingly easy to get close to the prison building. Mr. Silton said it was like the Death Star and had a weakness we could exploit. Although I seem to remember the robot getting shot when they did that in the film. But there was no time to worry as Mr. Silton pressed a walkie-talkie into my hand and said, Good luck. 